Hello there. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I decided that I wanted to do a little art moment, a hair dye moment. I don't have any makeup on and my hair is pulled back like this because I thought like, why bother doing my hair if I'm gonna be, you know? And my makeup's not done. Honestly, I tried to cover up some pimples, but I don't have any makeup on because I thought if the hair turns out, then maybe I could utilize this footage for also a makeup transformation. So we're going to be dyeing my hair pink today and the hair dye we will be using is by Manic Panic. Don't worry everyone, it's vegan. I also actually have a Manic Panic in blue. So I, I don't know. I put out like a poll on my Twitter and I was like, hey, what do you guys think I should do? Pink hair or blue hair? And people said pink hair. So we're gonna try. These disposable gloves. A 25 pack, just in case we're feeling risky to get it in the next week. A bowl, a mixing bowl, standard mixing bowl from, I don't know, the Sally Hansen store, that's what it's even called. This mixer, which has like pink residue in it from before, that's okay. I'm not a hairdresser, I just thought that I would make this video to show you my little technique. We are coming to you live from the floor today because I don't want to get hair dye on my carpet in my room and also I don't want to do it in my bathroom because it's too small to do like the whole tripod setup. I feel like there's like a big range of motion with the hair so maybe we can just stay out here today. First order of business is to take off out my hair. So right now my hair is pretty natural the color actually. Well, do I even want to change it? Yeah. I've been changing my hair a lot recently and I think that it's cause like I keep having like minor mental breakdown, but that's fine. Like you can see here, for example, I cut my own hair. Um, I did dye it pink a couple weeks ago and it washed out sort of quickly, but mostly it's my natural hair color. Like all this brown that's coming in is natural. So this one I grabbed recently from Shoppers Drug Mart. The color of this one's actually cotton candy pink. What the hell? It says it glows under black light. I didn't see this feature before. You're dyeing your hair along with me. We're gonna get started. Step one, our gloves. Now, a confession. I've not always used gloves for this task. And it's not been my best decision, but things have to be done. I don't have any regrets. We're opening the Manic Panic. Oh my God, why do I never open up things? Don't do it like this, but it does work. Without spilling it all over our apartment, <laughs> we're gonna pour it into this bowl. We're just gonna go from the bottom to the top. That way, if we like run out of um, color later, it won't look as weird because it's the rest of it will be hidden under your hair. I'm gonna try to get it as close to the root as I can. You might be on to something here, boys. You can kind of see it picking up the color already in the little blonde strand. Oh, so yeah, it's summer right now here in the six. Sorry, there's some in that. We hear that hot girl summer is upon us. It's in it's full swing already. So everybody get ready for some action. That's not what I meant. Hot girl summer is basically like, so I just feel like that's like sort of a little bit of a vibe right now in like general life. I just twisted my hair like around and I do like this so that any of the excess dye comes out and it kind of like stains all the hair at the same time together. Wow, the gloves actually really do come in handy. That was just like a tip. That was, that was. Ah, no! Okay, this pink's kind of coming in nice. Can you see it a little? Can you? Wow, I'm actually excited about this. It seems like it's going well for us. Guys, this is so much fun. I'm hearing people's like crazy hair dye stories. I remember I never was allowed to dye my hair until I was like, oh my God, I think the first time I actually got my hair colored, I was in like, high school or something. I got highlights, I think. And then 
the next summer I wanted to go a little more crazy. So my friend and I were like hanging out and we wanted to dye our hair dark. Like, well, she was Italian, long dark hair, so she was fine. Me on the other hand, I felt I needed to level up a little bit. So we went out and got this like dark box hair dye. We did it to me and my hair literally, it was like, a cantaloupe color and i remember we were supposed to go to a party that night and we went we went to the party and it was like our friend's older brother's party or something there's a bunch of guys there we heard someone say that they wanted like they called me this is like a really bad story they're like i shot you the ginger and i was like I look around and like both my friends have like dark hair and i'm the only one with like orange hair and i was like cool. that was just something else and once my sisters and i dyed our hair with Kool-Aid because we weren't allowed, obviously, as children to dye our hair. So we dyed our hair with Kool-Aid. <laughs> and my sisters stayed in her hair for literally five years and she had to get it cut out. She got the Kool-Aid cut out of her hair. That shows you, mom, trying to get everything. Second layer is pretty much done. I do want to add just a little bit here. Okay. Next layer. Come on, my face looks like pretty glowy, honestly. I just have like a few little pimples around my chin, but honestly, my skin's been doing pretty well lately. Actually, you know what I just started yesterday? Um, I saw on Twitter that this girl has this video where she basically shows you like the actual correct way to wash your face. And it's like a 60 second method. There's like a whole different like technique. Watch the video, I'll link it below. I don't know, I've been using it for two days and everybody, like literally everybody says on Twitter that it's changed their lives and like they just are using their normal cleanser still but it's just like this way of washing your face and it basically just i don't know makes you glow for life so that's what i've been doing if anyone's interested it's only like day two but oh that's frothy oh we can see some pinks coming through and the curls are coming back too Don't be afraid to just get in there and get a little messy, honestly. That's what the craft is all about. Okay, see there's some still brown stragglers under here. Is that a cool shot? I feel like I get in these random nudes every like few months where I have to kind of like reboot. Sometimes I just don't feel like so connected to myself. So I come up with like a list of things that I do or I should try to do when I'm feeling like disconnected or like sad. And that always makes me, I don't know, kind of feel a little bit more myself again. So dyeing my hair and cutting my hair and doing stuff with my hair makes me feel better emotionally. <laughs> I feel like a lot of people do that. Britney Spears, for example. For example. Okay, so my hair is like fully drenched in this stuff now. I'm gonna make sure it stays. I feel like every time I dye my hair pink, it comes out in like three days. As we can see, the scalp has, the scalp, the scalp has suffered a little. Hmm, it's looking pretty good actually. This is gonna be nice. Actually, you know, this is just the final look, actually, so thanks for watching. On another case of sad news, I lost my AirPods again. First time I lost them was in Mexico, which that vlog's still not up, but it's still coming, don't worry. I lost one AirPod and the case, and they're together. Because I walked home one day, and I had one in. I always like do one or the other, and I don't know. Somehow, the case is missing. Okay. So now that I look like a drown rat, I'm gonna wrap this hair all together. Just put it up for a minute. And then I'll actually do the heat thing to it. I wanna see if that'll make a difference. Let me just show you a little update on the scalp. As you see, I went in with the pink brush again and I went a little closer to my hairline to get the little blondies. And I think it's working really well, although, my head might be pink after this. What we're gonna do now is bring the hair dryer action into it. Hopefully this will like intensify the color a bit and then I'm gonna jump in the shower. Okay, I'm not gonna dry the whole thing because it's like, it's 
trying to go curly. So I'm gonna wait like maybe 15 more minutes and then I'm gonna do a shower. So now we're back. My hair is looking fresh. You'll see like a little glimpses of brown, but for the most part, it's pretty pink. So <laughs> because I'm lazy, I'm just gonna do my hair on camera. And then if you want a makeup tutorial in another video, you let me know. There's actually a couple things that I spray on my hair when I'm straightening it. This is by Tresemme and it's like keratin smooth frizz. So it's good. Just when it's wet, like damp, I had it in a towel. And then I have this Briogeo Rascaro Milk Reparative Leave-In Conditioning Spray. So I put this one on like after. Makes it a little more silky and protects it from the heat, I think. So as I can see already by the blow dry, I don't have a full pink color. But I already knew that was gonna happen because my hair is brown. I was just expecting the ends to go pink, and they did. But now I kind of realize how much more blonde I still had on this side as opposed to this side. So I still did get that like rosy little tint that I liked from the time before. So I'm not mad about it. So let's straighten it and see what it looks like after that. Kind of boring watching me do this so i'm gonna let you look outside because it's actually a really nice sunset and it might be good vibes to go hello we're back okay so this was fun we have a nice brown creamsicle vibe for the summer now and i'm pretty pleased with it I knew it wasn't going to go fully pink because obviously it's brown and it wasn't like a serious hair dye. So this is the vibe we're going with. Hope you enjoyed this video. Follow me on Instagram at mpugs and let me know what else you'd like to see from me and I'll try to create it. And maybe next time I'll wear makeup or actually maybe next time I'll put makeup on on camera. Thanks for joining. I'm holding a huge ass tripod. I don't know why it sounds like someone just knocked at my door. I gotta go.